Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we continue on uh, next topic which is sign numbers So binary number actually you can represent uh, either positive or negative value So we have two representation of sign number okay, Either by using sign magnitude or two complement number So this is are the two categories how we can represent binary number Okay, we start with the sign magnitude number. So in sign magnitude number, number consists of two parts. Okay, magnitude and sign. Okay. So we have two sign, okay, zero and also one. So zero signify positive number, one signify the negative number. So that is the the first thing that you need to remember for the sign magnitude number, the sign value. Okay, next, okay, how you are going to know the the number of bits, okay, the number of bits that you can represent, okay, for each decimal number. Okay. So if you have n bit, okay, if you have n bit, so this number could be represent start from, okay, this range. So this is the formula. So you must remember the formula. Okay, so n is actually representing the bit. The number of bit that you want to represent for those number. Okay, example, for four bit, okay, four bit sign magnitude, okay, range start from negative seven to positive seven. Okay, so you just replace four, okay, to this formula which is to n value. Okay, so example, I will show you here. So, uh, four bit. Okay, so the formula is negative okay, n minus 1 minus 1 okay, 2 positive okay, minus 1 okay, so 4 so you just replace 4 uh, to n okay. so 4 minus 1 minus 1 okay, positive okay, 4 minus 1 minus 1 okay, so negative uh, 2 power of 4 minus 1 so 2 power of uh, 4 minus 1 is 3 so power of 3 minus 1 ok 2 okay, 3 minus 1 ok so 2 power of 3 is 8 okay, so here I put in a bracket ok so that you will not confuse the value ok so start from Okay, 8 minus 1, okay, 2 positive, 8 minus 1. So, meaning that, okay, sorry, okay, sorry, yeah, so meaning that for 4 bit, the range is start from negative 7, okay, until positive 7. Okay, on, only this range of number, that you can use for bit okay when you convert okay what means by range is actually when you want to convert one number to binary okay by using sign magnitude number system okay you must follow this formula yeah so meaning that if you want to represent number in four bit so what are the range what are the numbers that can represent by four bit so only this number so this example of 4 bit okay, representation okay, by using sign magnitude number. So this is a sign magnitude number. Okay, meaning that in binary. <coughs> okay, what is the, the differences between sign magnitude number and uh, binary number that you learn in uh, chapter 1? Okay, in chapter 1, there is no sign. Okay, there is no sign positive or negative but in this chapter okay we must represent the number including the sign okay for example if you want to represent positive 7 okay you need to add 0 in front of the binary okay so that it will represent positive okay for 7 and then if you want to represent negative 7 so you need to add 1 in front of the magnitude Yes, to represent negative value. Okay. So this is the format. The first bit is the sign, and then the other bit is actually the magnitude. Okay. So you must remember that one. 
for how uh, you can convert the sine magnitude, you find the magnitude. Okay, so the magnitude can find by uh, you can use calculator to find the magnitude. Okay, meaning that the binary representation. Okay, and then you just attach the sign bit either positive or negative. Okay, zero or one. Okay. So example, if you want to represent positive eleven. Okay, by using sine magnitude number. Okay, by using sine magnitude number. Okay, first step, you need to find the uh, magnitude. Okay, find the magnitude for 11. Okay, so, sorry. Alright, so magnitude for 11 is actually, uh, you can use a calculator. Okay, what is the binary representation of 11? Okay, so magnitude of 11 is okay, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, and then second step, okay, you attach sine B okay, to the magnitude. So because the question is positive 11, okay, meaning that you need to attach 0. Okay, so you will get 0. 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So, this is the uh, step how you can uh, find the sine magnitude numbers. Okay. First, you need to find the magnitude for that number and then you just attach sine bit okay, in front of the magnitude. So, what if uh, the question asks you to find the sine magnitude number okay, by using a larger representation of bits? Okay, for example, okay, find positive 11 okay, using uh, 8 bit. Okay, using 8 bit sign magnitude. Okay, using sign magnitude. Okay, 8 bits. Right? So, first step. You need to find the magnitude. Actually, the, the step is actually the, the same step. Okay, uh, except the magnitude, maybe uh, we need to add extra zero okay, in front of the magnitude. Okay? Because the sine bit, okay, only the first bit okay, of the sine magnitude numbers. Okay? So, you know that um, okay, uh, maybe you can start with this, uh, the second one. You know that the uh, sine bit Okay, for positive is zero, so only one bit. So how many bits that you need to have to make sure that the total bits are eight bits? Okay, so balance is actually seven bit, right? Seven bit. So meaning that for the first step, which is the magnitude for eleven. So if you are using calculator, the magnitude is one zero one one. Okay, but uh, because the sine bit only one bit, okay, and then your magnitude only four, four plus one only five, so you have another three bits. Okay, you have another three bit. So meaning that for this magnitude, you need to add three zero in front. Okay, so three zero in front, so there will be seven bit, and then two. Okay, you attach. Okay, sign bit. Okay, so you attach in front. So your sign bit is zero, and then followed by the magnitude zero 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 one zero one one. Okay, so now your value is using eight bits. One bit for the sign, seven bit for the magnitude. Okay, so this is how you represent the value. So, if uh, I change the question, is it of plus or positive, negative? Okay, negative 11. Okay, uh, using side magnitude. So, actually the same uh, method. So, you find the magnitude which is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. And then you attach bit in front, okay, which is uh, 1 bit. Okay, bit 1. So, your answer will be 1. Zero 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 one zero one one. So bit one is your sign bit, and then the other seven bits 
is your magnitude. So only one bit represent the sign bit. Okay, the others are magnitude. So you must remember. Yeah, because sometimes student is uh, a bit confused, especially when they want to represent negative number. Okay, negative number. Meaning that for negative eleven, the answer is actually this value one zero 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 one zero one one. But sometimes students, okay, uh, you will get the the value which is the magnitude is one zero one one. Okay, and then. The balance for bit, they put all one. This one, all one. This is magnitude, and then this one is actually the balance of the bits to make sure uh, the number of bits is eight bits. Okay, so this is actually totally wrong. Yeah. So the other three here is not one. Okay, it's actually zero, zero, zero. Okay, not one. Only the first bit is one, like this one. Uh, so this is the correct answer. Okay, this is the wrong answer. Okay, so I hope you you can remember how you can represent the sign magnitude number.